Welcome in this new how-to. In this how-to we will configure our Cirrus SR22 uh, aircraft or actually the navigation system from it of course uh, manually by using the uh, system the uh, Garmin 1000 system which is in the airplane. As you can see our airplane is on the Courcheville airport. Uh, for both of you it should be a known airport because it's part of one of the landing challenges in Flight Simulator 2020. So let's go into the aircraft and let's start configuring our flight. As you can see the aircraft is currently fully powered off so let's first fix that piece. So we go to the uh, battery part. Always hard to find it with a joystick. So let's switch on battery 1, battery 2, and alternator 1 and alternator 2. That will boot up the Garmin system as you can see. And you already can see a map here and the compass on the left display. But we also want to switch on the right one. So to do that you need to switch on the avionics. As you can see the Garmin G1000 system boots up. And for some of you this system might be a known system. Because it's, if I'm correct, almost the same as the uh, Cessna 172 airplane. So let's bring up the VFR map. So the plan is to uh, fly from Courcheville and I'll then make the map a little bit bigger so we can kind of close look what we can do. And then the plan is to fly to uh, this airport, which is uh, Lima Foxtrot uh, Victor Lima. Once we reach that, we will fly to Lima Foxtrot Tango Uniform and then we will fly to uh, Lima Foxtrot Lima Golf. So to configure the flight plan, we need to press the FPL button. Uh, by default, it's set like this, but if you want to enter the first waypoint, you need to press this button. And this button has multiple functionalities, right? So you've got the button which you can push, you've got the front part of the button or the knob and the large part of the button or knob. So to uh, configure or to search for the letters, we need to use the, f uh, the front part of the knob. So we're gonna search for L and then we need to use the big part of the knob to move either left or right. Then we need to search for the F from Foxtrot. Sometimes it's a bit hard, right? To ah, come on. No L F. You see, sometimes I'm also st struggling with uh, switching the button, so let's search from scratch. Uh, let me see if I can move a bit. Yeah, probably this move is a little bit better. And now we need to put in the letter L from Lima. And then as the last letter, the J from Juliet, because this is our start point. When configuring a flight, you always need to start with the airport from which you depart. So now we found it, we press the enter key. And then we're gonna set up the next one, which is a Lima Foxtrot Victor Lima. So if we press uh, the left button, you will see that it recognizes the last or the first entry point so that makes it easier because then you don't need to uh, search for all the letters so what we're gonna do is we're gonna whoa. come on I'm gonna move to the left uh, again move to the left because this needs to be the V from Victor
then use the large knob again and then search for the L from Lima. So it appears that this is the Valtorans Alti Airport. Fine for us, so we press enter. And directly after the, we did that, you see that there's a line between uh, Courcheville and uh, the next waypoint. This line is uh, pink, purple, uh, because this is the active lag. So let's add the next waypoint. So we hit left again. And if we wouldn't have to push too fast, we would make it ourselves easier because that, then we could skip the first two letters. So now I need to push in the second letter also. I'll have T. Uniform, and this is the uh, Saint Jean de Maurienne, or it's also called the Prasauk Epri Vanier Airport. That's this one, and we hit enter. Now, there was one question from one of the uh, visitors or viewers of my videos is okay, hey, when for example I want to fly from uh, Courcheville but I want to skip this waypoint and fly directly to this one or first fly a little bit south and then west how can I activate the second lag? because the navigation system will uh, wait until you pass this waypoint well the answer is pretty easy what you can do is you can go to that waypoint in this case let's say that we're flying first south and then to the west and you can select active lag as you can see what has appeared now is the line from courcheville to uh, lima foxtrot victor lima has disappeared and the second part of the uh of our route has now been activated. So can you undo that? Because yes, you can do. Go back to Courcheville and then say active lag. So next thing we need to do is we need to go and configure our next waypoint. Here you can see a live airplane. I like this option in uh, in, in Flight Simulator. It's pretty cool that you can see those airplanes also flying. And let's configure our last waypoint, which is a Lima Foxtrot Lima Golf. So again, push the button, go to the big knob, and then we only need to change the last uh, two characters. So that makes it really easy for us, right? So So this uh, is uh, Le Vesou in Grenoble. So hit enter again. And then we're ready. So then we can hit the button and then we've set up for a complete flight. So we're leaving from Courcheville then to Lima Foxtrot uh, Victor Lima. And then we fly to Lima Foxtrot Tango Uniform. And at the end we land in Grenoble L Lima Foxtrot Lima Golf. In a future flight, or in a future video, I should say, <laughs> we will uh, make the flight, make this real flight. And I can already tell you this could be really challenging because there are a lot of mountains. So you need to have enough, uh, you need to watch your altitude because else you would fly against the mountains. And that's, of course, not what we want. If you like this video, don't forget to like this, uh, press the like button. If you want to see more of these videos or want to stay up to date about other videos being posted to my channel, then consider to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.